be doing a guide on bird runs or birdhouse runs. Uh, you need to complete the bone voyage quest. And the first thing you want to do is make four clockwork, um, little uh, four clockworks. You only need to make this one time because you'll always get them back, which is always good um, for the future. That's the first thing I highly recommend that you go ahead and knock out is to make those clockworks. You need a clockmaker's bench and that's going to be um, in your house and the crafting room or the workroom. I'm not very sure what it's called actually, but I believe you need four of these. The good thing is that all you need is a steel bar and a chisel and a hammer, I believe. Okay. So very cool. I made those. The next thing you want to do is unlock Fossil Island. Uh, first you go to the dig site and when you go up to the house on the hill and you use this magic mushroom tree you unlock this area and then you can use your dig site pendant on the strange machine and that will unlock it so you can teleport here. The next thing you want to do is be able to unlock all of the teleports. Now the two most important teleports are the house on the hill and two that I have not yet found. So I'm gonna quickly show y'all where to unlock the rest. So the first uh, location that you will unlock is of course the house on the hill, which you'll have to run to. The next I recommend is the mushroom meadow, and I'll show you how to get there using the map. If you go to the map, the mushroom meadow uh, teleport location from the bank is just gonna be right up here, right here, and you just unlock the mushroom by clicking on it. The next location is going to be the Sticky Swamp. You don't have to necessarily use this location. It's completely up to you. But there's a couple different ways to get here. You can go from the bank and run all the way south and unlock it here. Or you can run from the bank, go to this location, use the little mushroom teleport, and it'll take you down here, but you'll take 40 damage or you can simply run through the swamp to unlock it. This one is not very necessary and you don't have to unlock it. I'm just uh, showing it for purposes. The next one's gonna be in the valley and it's located here. You're just gonna run from the bank and around here to unlock it. There are two birdhouses in this location and there are two birdhouses in this location. So the two most important ones are gonna be the house on the hill, or the three most important ones, the house on the hill, the verdant valley, and the mushroom meadow. So first we're gonna start in the Verdant Valley. And I have some, pretty much some uh, birdhouses already made here so you can kind of see the loot. I'm using magic logs, but the, the basic minimum to start making birdhouses is level five. And it can go all the way up to Redwoods, which is gonna be 89 Hunter. I'm using magics because I don't have 89 Hunter and that's the the best I can do. Um, Yous are also really great because magics are a little bit hard to get on Iron Man, but I mean the XP is roughly all very close, but of course you're going to have better rate at getting nest. So in order to make the nest, you need to have a clockwork, four logs, a chisel and a hammer, and 10 hop seeds. Now only hop seeds work on these birdhouses and you can buy them in Draenor, or with the seed stall with Olivia, or you can steal them from the stall, Olivia's stall in Draenor, or you can buy them on the Grand Exchange. If you're an Iron Man, you're going to have to use Draenor. So we're going to go ahead and dismantle this first trap, and a bunch of bird meat will drop on the ground. Your clockwork will be given back, but of course, if you haven't done your first birdhouse, what you're going to do is use the clockwork on the magic logs, your, pray, uh, your player will, <laughs> I said prayer, player will make a birdhouse, use the birdhouse on the spot, and then use 10 hop seeds of any kind. They have to be hop seeds though on the house, and that will fill it up. And then of course, I'm gonna go ahead and check these bird nests real fast. Um, this is the next one, next location. I'm gonna dismantle it. And um, as you can see, I've gotten four nests total so far. I'm going to use my clockwork on the logs. And here we are with another birdhouse. We're going to place it down, use the seeds, and then we're going to go to the meadow. And I'll show you the last two birdhouses. There are only uh, four total. So we're going to go to the mushroom meadow. And here is the third one up here. We're going to go ahead and dismantle it. A lot of this is based on RNG on how many you get. Like right there, that was a lot. 
So we're gonna use the clockwork. You'll always get your clockwork back, which is really nice. You'll just need logs and seeds each time. And there we go, we filled it up with seeds. And now we're gonna run all the way south. This is near the sticky swamp area. Uh, you don't need to unlock the teleport. I was just showing it uh, for the purposes of how to unlock all the teleports in the video. And some people may use the sticky swamp teleport method, which is fine. So we're gonna go ahead and interact and dismantle it. So as you can see, I got a lot of um, bird's nest from this one. So that's, that's really nice from this run. We're gonna use the clockwork on the logs once again and the seeds and we're good to go. And that's a birdhouse run. These are done every 50 minutes. So every 50 minutes you can check them out and get a good amount of nest. As you can see, that's 41K um, if you're a main and that's a free 41k every minute or every 50 minutes disregarding the logs you use but um let's see four uh five ten eleven twelve looks like 12 bird nests there for an iron man it's really nice that's 12 brews uh thanks for watching and if you're interested in watching other videos or any future videos that i post please subscribe to my channel and of course, uh, if you like this video and it helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.